Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets, looking at some awesome, juicy IPA. Uh, hopefully, it looks like it's going to be like that that I got from Beer Gym. Beer Gym got a crazy amount of uh, New York releases lately from uh, New York breweries, and I got some on there. So this one is a huge collaboration beer. This is a collaboration between Carton, Other Half, Barrier, and Interboro, and this is the <laughs> Carton, Interboro, Other Half, Barrier. Re-raise IPA on 7% alcohol. So this is like a, a an IPA series based on like racing the stakes and gambling, which is kind of fun, like good idea for a collaboration beer series. So the first beer, the base beer and everything was brewed by a barrier. And that was called Bet, I believe. Let's just get the info up here, because that was a lot of info. So yeah, the first, the base beer there was called Bet. And then Carton, took the beer and they added 50% wheat malt to the base uh, of that beer to call it Raise. And then they uh, made Re-Raise by adding oats. And then they're saying, we don't know what other half will do, we'll find out. Which is, yeah, I think it's a very cool idea for a series. So this beer is hopped with Columbus sit and Citra and the dry hop is Citra, Kashmir and Idaho 7 and Columbus. So very interesting with Columbus as a dry hop as well. So. I got re-raised board and look at that. That ooh, that looks like crazy juice. By the way, this is like a month old, uh, pretty much to the date today. <laughs> the card sheet it says underneath. Um, yeah, pretty much to the date. Ah, a little more actually, but super hazy, golden yellow color. I mean, this looks like pineapple juice in the glass. Let's check out the aroma on re-raise. So much pineapple, but it has some spicy undertones as well, interestingly. I actually already had this disclaimer. I had it in Sweden, and a friend of mine brought it for the Sweden trip. But really juicy, uh, tropical fruit. There's definitely also some sweet citrus. Poured a bit too much beer in the glass. Almost did a boss pour, just to get ahead. But hey, whatever. Um, smells like thumbnail stuff, uh, but it smells really nice. Bit of sweet malt underneath, but super juicy pineapple-y aromas. Lemon, lime as well a bit. Like, I can't, I, I can't, like, I've had beers before with Idaho 7. Uh, Kashmir, I, it's been a while since I've had that hop. Like, it's, those are, like, not hops that you have that often, at least for me. And it's not hops you see often in IPAs. And I really like that they have these. I'm getting some spiciness, and that there's, like, this... Like some definite, like, like some, some dankness. And the more I smell, the more I get of the dankness. Like, like weedy dankness. Oh yeah, it's actually quite dank. <laughs> it's funny, I didn't really think of it until now. But, definitely like pineapple-y dankness. Yeah, it smells very nice. Maybe some mango underneath. Sweet citrus. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. And thanks to Sunday Beardin for the beer. That is really good. Whoa, it's dank. It's really fucking dank. This almost is reminding me. It's it's an interboro. Well, other half is involved, but it's 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 reminding me of another other half beer in terms of dankness. This is super dank. I'm definitely getting like spicy pepper notes. Oh, there I got loads of lemony, like fleshy lemon and lemon rind, and definitely loads of pineapple too, like tart pineapple. I love the color on this. Some people have heard that this was on the hop burn side. I don't think so. Well, I'm drinking this a little bit too cold maybe, but for me right now, I'm not getting any hop burn or yeast burn or anything. I'm just like loads of juicy tank hops. A nice bitterness, nothing crazy. Lighter side of medium, medium mouthfeel, not the thickest of mouthfeels, even though they have 50% addition of wheat, which is crazy, but it doesn't feel like super sludgy. But that, again, colder beer. Sometimes, because of that, it doesn't feel as thick as it is. Let's just give it a swirl in the mouth. Mm. Mm hmm It's definitely got that silky feel going on. Yeah, for sure. Like, silky medium body. Wow, loads of pineapple. Dank pineapple. Lemon, lime peel. But spiciness. Aphrodite is like spicy. Almost like peppery. Uh, like black peppercorns and white peppercorns, which is pretty interesting. I think that might be from Kashmir. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Or, or Columbus. 
and it might even also in the back end have an undertone of pine there i got more of that lemon lime quality and citrus fruit sweet citrus fruit is there as well like orangey kind of sweeter citrus fruit thing going on but it's not like crazy to me like the big thing is like lemons like super lemony super dank like weed like and then pineapple but it's really nice it's a fun like different take on the, like the new england because all, everything like you know pineapple super juicy and everything but then you have like these different spicy flavors you have the loads of lemon it's very nice guys rating wise for the interboro and other half and carton and barrier re-raise IPA I'm thinking liking thinking liking I'm thinking like a 93-94 very very nice IPA uh, not my favorite IPA from either of the breweries because uh, well I haven't had anything from Carton from Carton so I can't say about them but still a very very nice beer very nice collaboration I mean these guys are great IPA makers in, I, I don't think all of them are based in New York or what. I know Barrier is on was it Rhode Island or something. Interboro is other half is. Not sure about Carton. Uh, I know Darwin reviewed a lot of their stuff, but I can't remember. You know, so much stuff going on in the world of craft beer. It's you know hard to follow everything. You like just Europe. Everything's going crazy. There's so much good stuff right now. But I'd say hop on this on Beer Gym if they still have it available. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a great New England style IPA. I'd say because. All that haze and all that juice, but let me know what you thought of re raise guys, if you had a chance to try it. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and check out Beer Gym, where this beer hopefully still is left, as I said. And uh, I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another beer reel.